Five things that happened after Jesus died. Welcome to our channel, where we explore the profound truths of the Bible. In today's video, we'll delve into five remarkable events that took place after the death of Jesus Christ. These events not only shaped the early Christian faith, but continue to hold deep spiritual significance for believers today. Let's dive in. The day that changed everything, Jesus died on the cross for you and for me. There was no other way for the door to be open for us to have relationship with God, but by the forgiveness of our own sin, through Christ's payment on our behalf. And it was a day of miracles. Easter is celebrated by Christians worldwide to commemorate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The significance of Easter is deeply rooted in Christian theology and history, with several key reasons for its observance. Resurrection. Easter celebrates the central event of the Christian faith, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Victory over death. Easter symbolizes Jesus' victory over sin and death, offering hope of eternal life to believers. Fulfillment of prophecy. The resurrection fulfills numerous prophecies in the Old Testament, confirming Jesus as the promised Messiah. Divine authority. Jesus' resurrection demonstrates his divine authority and power over all creation. Redemption and forgiveness. Easter highlights the themes of redemption and forgiveness through Jesus' sacrificial death and resurrection. New life in Christ. Believers celebrate Easter as a symbol of spiritual renewal and the opportunity for a new life in Christ. Hope and assurance. Easter brings hope and assurance to Christians, reminding them of God's promise of salvation and eternal life. Joyful celebration. Easter is a time of joyful celebration, marking the triumph of light and goodness over darkness and sin. Community gathering. Easter brings together Christian communities for worship, fellowship and unity in faith. Historical significance. Easter has deep historical significance, tracing back to the early church's observance of Jesus' resurrection. Global observance. Easter is celebrated by millions of Christians worldwide, transcending cultural and geographical boundaries. Season of reflection. Leading up to Easter, the Lenten season encourages reflection, repentance and spiritual preparation. Symbol of rebirth. Easter is associated with symbols of rebirth, such as eggs and springtime, representing new beginnings in Christ. Eternal hope. Believers find comfort and hope in Easter's message of Jesus' victory over death and the promise of eternal life. Foundation of faith. Easter is a foundational event in the Christian faith, affirming core beliefs and doctrines of salvation and redemption. The crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, celebrated each year on Good Friday and Easter, are the foundation stones of Christianity. You can't have Jesus without them. But most of our talk about what those events achieved is elusive and ephemeral. We say that Jesus' death grants forgiveness of sins and reconciliation with God, but those things are spiritual realities. You can't actually see them. You can't rub up against them or feel them between your hands. How do we know that something spiritual permanently shifted when Jesus took his last breath on the cross? Is it possible we're reading our own desired outcome into the moment? God, in his wisdom, didn't leave the answers to those questions up to chance. In fact, he wrote them, not just in an unseen spirit realm up there, but in our physical reality down here. The day Jesus died for a moment, you could actually see, hear, and feel God's rescue plan. But what happened when Jesus died? Below are three physical things that happened following Jesus' death, what they meant, and why they still matter today. All four accounts of Jesus' life in the Bible give narratives around Jesus' arrest, trial, and crucifixion. For our purposes today, we're going to stick with Matthew's. You should read the whole chapter, but we're going to laser focus on Matthew 27, 51, 53. Here's what happened when Jesus died on the cross. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised, and coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Um, um what the actual crazy is going on here? Matthew's account of Jesus' life was written for a primarily Jewish audience. He drops these bombs and then moves on because his original readers would have caught all the references to their ancient history. But to us, it sounds like the weirdest episode of The Walking Dead ever. It's worth the time to unpack these events because once you wrestle with them, you'll never experience Easter the same way again. Let us look at some five miraculous events or things that happened when Jesus died on the cross. 1. Darkness came over all the land. Matthew 27, 25 from noon on Friday until 3 p.m., the skies grew dark. It's hard to imagine what the people were feeling when they saw this happen, but I would think that some became fearful, terrified, realizing what they'd done, and that Jesus was indeed who he said he was. 
This was a very real picture of both physical and spiritual darkness that occurs without belief in Christ. Even nature all around gave testimony of who Christ was and the grief of what was happening. 2. At the very moment that Jesus breathed his last breath, the temple veil that covered the entrance to the Holy of Holies, the actual dwelling place of God among the people, was torn in two from top to bottom. Matthew 27 51 Sometimes in our minds, we picture a thin veil covering this entrance, but history records that the veil was actually about 60 feet tall and up to four in thickness. The size of the veil would have made it impossible for any human to tear this in two pieces. This was a complete miracle from God's hand, signifying that he had opened the door for us to come in and have relationship with him. Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice so the veil or separation was no longer needed. We can now enter his presence through Christ himself. 3. The earth shook and the rocks split. Matthew 27 51 A huge earthquake shook the land right at the very time Christ died. The Bible says that at the exact time of Jesus' death, the earth trembled. The whole earth cried out for the death of the Saviour. God tells us in Luke 19.40, if we stay silent, even the stones will cry out. 4. Graves opened up and the saints came out, and after the resurrection they appeared to many people. Matthew 27.52-53 Can you imagine what this looked like? The dead arose when Jesus died. God brought to life what was dead to fulfill his purposes. Again, he reminds us that the final victory of Christ conquered death. He is Lord over all. He reigns victorious over sin and death. 5. Lives were changed. Many began to realize who Jesus really was. The truth revealed they could no longer deny it. Matthew 27, 54 says, When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. The realization sank deep. The truth that had the power to change lives, to make all things new, to offer fresh starts, new beginnings, forgiveness and purpose. Well, there you have it. Five things that happened after Jesus died on the cross. Let us try and study some other phenomenal five things that happened also a little later, just before Jesus' ascension into heaven. 1. Resurrection and Empty Tomb The first and most pivotal event after Jesus' death was his resurrection. Three days after his crucifixion, Jesus rose from the dead, demonstrating his victory over sin and death. This miraculous event was accompanied by the discovery of the empty tomb by Mary Magdalene and other women, confirming the reality of his resurrection. 2. Appearances to Disciples Following his resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples multiple times. These appearances provided undeniable proof of his victory over death and bolstered the faith of his followers. One notable appearance was to Thomas, who initially doubted, but was convinced upon seeing and touching Jesus' wounds. 3. Ascension to Heaven Forty days after his resurrection, Jesus ascended into heaven in the presence of his disciples. This event marked his return to the Father and established his authority over all creation. The ascension paved the way for the coming of the Holy Spirit and the birth of the early church at Pentecost. 4. Outpouring of the Holy Spirit Ten days after Jesus' ascension, the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples on the day of Pentecost. This event, known as the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, empowered the disciples to boldly proclaim the gospel and perform signs and wonders. It marked the beginning of the church's mission to spread the message of salvation to all nations. 5. Spread of the gospel and early church growth. Armed with the Holy Spirit's power, the early disciples embarked on a mission to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Through their preaching, teaching and miraculous works, the gospel rapidly spread throughout the Roman Empire and beyond. The early church grew exponentially, attracting believers from diverse backgrounds and laying the foundation for Christianity's global impact. In conclusion, one of the key events in all of the Christian Bible's New Testament is the death of Jesus Christ. Of course, his death was the necessary prerequisite for the main event in all of the text. His resurrection from the dead, the miracle that forms the supernatural basis for the entire religion of Christianity. Nevertheless, despite his death being a single part of a larger narrative, the four Gospels Matthew, Mark, Luke and John collectively give a full picture of the events that took place before and during his crucifixion. This includes his betrayal by Judas, his sham trial, the torturous and prolonged death he endured on the cross, and the statements he made while dying. Further, the narrative doesn't go silent following Jesus' final breath and then pick up again when he reveals that he's been resurrected quite a bit happens after Jesus' death, much of it dripping with theological significance. Finally, here is a look at the significance of the death of Jesus on the cross for us today. 
the significance of Jesus' death on the cross is profound and central to the Christian faith. Here are several key points that highlight its significance. 1. Atonement for sin. Jesus' death on the cross is the ultimate sacrifice that atones for the sins of humanity. In Christian theology, this act of atonement is often referred to as the atonement or redemption, where Jesus' blood shed on the cross serves as the payment for the sins of humanity, reconciling humanity with God. 2. Victory over sin and death. Through his death on the cross, Jesus defeated the power of sin and death. The New Testament teaches that Jesus' sacrificial death and subsequent resurrection offer believers victory over the consequences of sin and the assurance of eternal life. 3. Fulfillment of prophecy. Jesus' death on the cross fulfilled numerous prophecies from the Old Testament, emphasizing his role as the long-awaited Messiah and Savior. His crucifixion, burial, and resurrection are integral parts of the fulfillment of God's plan of salvation. 4. Demonstration of love. Jesus' willingness to die on the cross demonstrates the depth of God's love for humanity. The Apostle Paul describes this love in Romans 5.8, stating, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 5. Access to God's grace. Through Jesus' sacrificial death, believers gain access to God's grace and forgiveness. The cross represents God's mercy and offers the opportunity for individuals to be reconciled with God and experience spiritual renewal. 6. Model of sacrificial love. Jesus' death on the cross serves as a model of sacrificial love and selflessness. It inspires believers to emulate his example by loving others, serving sacrificially, and prioritizing spiritual values over worldly pursuits. 7. Foundation of Christian faith. The cross is the central symbol of the Christian faith, representing the core beliefs of salvation, forgiveness, and reconciliation with God. It serves as a reminder of Jesus' ultimate sacrifice and the hope that believers have in him. Overall, the significance of Jesus' death on the cross encompasses themes of atonement, victory, love, grace, and foundational beliefs of the Christian faith. It remains a central and transformative aspect of Christian theology and spirituality. The power of the blood of Jesus is a central theme in Christian theology, symbolizing the redemptive and transformative impact of his sacrificial death on the cross. Several key factors contribute to the perceived power of Jesus' blood. Divine origin. The blood of Jesus is considered powerful because it originates from Jesus Christ, who is believed to be the Son of God and the Savior of humanity in Christian faith. As a divine being, his blood holds unique significance and efficacy in providing redemption and atonement for sin. Sacrificial atonement. Jesus' blood is associated with sacrificial atonement, meaning that his death on the cross served as the ultimate sacrifice to pay the penalty for humanity's sins. This act of atonement is viewed as a demonstration of God's love and mercy, making Jesus' blood a powerful symbol of forgiveness and reconciliation. Victory over sin and death. The shedding of Jesus' blood on the cross represents his victory over sin, death, and the powers of darkness. Christian theology teaches that through his sacrificial death and subsequent resurrection, Jesus conquered the forces of evil, offering believers freedom from the bondage of sin and the promise of eternal life. Cleansing and purification. The blood of Jesus is seen as a cleansing agent that purifies believers from sin and guilt. It is associated with spiritual renewal, sanctification, and the washing away of impurities, both inwardly and outwardly. Access to God's grace. Believers have access to God's grace and mercy through the blood of Jesus. It is through his sacrifice that humanity can approach God with confidence, knowing that his blood provides the means for forgiveness, acceptance, and spiritual transformation. Sealing of the New Covenant Jesus' blood symbolizes the establishment of the new covenant between God and humanity. This covenant, based on grace and redemption, replaces the old covenant of law and serves as the foundation for the Christian faith. Eternal Redemption The blood of Jesus offers eternal redemption and salvation to believers. It is through his blood that individuals are redeemed, reconciled with God, and granted the assurance of eternal life in his presence. Overall, the power of the blood of Jesus stems from its divine origin, sacrificial atonement, victory over sin and death, cleansing and purification properties, access to God's grace, establishment of the new covenant, and provision of eternal redemption. It represents the core beliefs of the Christian faith and serves as a source of hope, strength, and spiritual transformation for believers. The significance of the blood of Jesus holds deep spiritual and theological meaning in Christianity. Here are several key aspects that highlight its significance. Atonement and forgiveness. The blood of Jesus represents the sacrificial atonement for sin. 
In Christian belief, Jesus' shedding of blood on the cross serves as the ultimate sacrifice that brings forgiveness and reconciliation between humanity and God. The Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 1 7, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Cleansing and Purification The blood of Jesus is seen as a cleansing agent that purifies believers from sin. This concept is expressed in 1 John 1 7, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. The imagery of purification through Jesus' blood signifies spiritual renewal and sanctification. Victory over evil. The blood of Jesus is associated with victory over evil forces. Revelation 12:11 declares, They triumphed over him Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Believers are empowered by the blood of Jesus to overcome spiritual battles and resist the influences of darkness. Access to God's presence. Through the blood of Jesus, believers have access to God's presence and grace. Hebrews 10.19 states, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, highlighting the access believers have to God's presence and mercy because of Jesus' sacrifice. Sealing of the New Covenant. Jesus' blood symbolizes the establishment of the New Covenant between God and humanity. During the Last Supper, Jesus referred to his blood as the blood of the covenant, Matthew 26, 28, signifying the initiation of a new relationship based on grace, forgiveness, and eternal life. Eternal Redemption The blood of Jesus provides eternal redemption and salvation. Hebrews 9, 12 states, He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. Believers are redeemed and set free from the bondage of sin through Jesus' blood. Overall, the significance of the blood of Jesus encompasses themes of atonement, forgiveness, cleansing, victory, access to God, covenant relationship, and eternal redemption. It is a central aspect of Christian theology and spirituality, emphasizing the transformative power of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. According to Christian belief, Jesus Christ is now in heaven seated at the right hand of God the Father. This belief is based on various passages in the Bible that describe Jesus' ascension and exaltation after his resurrection. Here are some key points regarding where Jesus is now according to Christian theology. Ascension. After his resurrection, Jesus ascended into heaven in the presence of his disciples. This event is recorded in the New Testament, particularly in Luke 24, 50, 51 and Acts 1, 9, 11. Seated at the right hand of God. The Bible teaches that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God the Father signifying his exalted position and authority. This is mentioned in numerous scriptures, including Mark 16.19, Acts 2.33, and Hebrews 1.3. Interceding for believers. Christian doctrine also teaches that Jesus serves as the mediator between God and humanity, interceding on behalf of believers. Romans 8.34 states, Christ Jesus who died more than that, who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Coming again. Christians also believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ, where he will return in glory to judge the living and the dead. This belief is based on passages such as Matthew 24.30 and Acts 1.11. Presence through the Holy Spirit. While physically in heaven, Christians believe that Jesus is spiritually present with believers through the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised the presence of the Holy Spirit to his disciples before his ascension John 14.16.17.26.16.7.15. Overall, according to Christian theology, Jesus Christ is now in heaven, seated at the right hand of God, interceding for believers, and spiritually present with them through the Holy Spirit. His exaltation and ongoing ministry are foundational beliefs in Christianity, shaping doctrines of salvation, redemption, and the hope of his eventual return. Thank you for joining us as we explored the five significant events that occurred after Jesus' death. These events not only affirm the core beliefs of the Christian faith, but also inspire us to live with hope and confidence in the victory of Christ. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, may you experience the transformative power of Jesus' resurrection in your life. God bless.